back home finally. What's it like, you know, given the seven games and yeah. yesterday the day off, yeah. what's opening day to the field like? Oh, here? you know, we're excited. I, you know, the opening days I've had here felt like playoff games, and so I'm um, excited for the energy that comes with it, and, uh, you know, the fans are excited for us to be back, and we're excited to play in front of them, and so it should be a great time today. So, you know, the fan base, you know, you know what it's like to play yeah. here. The, the, the sky is falling already at the yeah, game. Yeah. What would you tell them? Oh, I mean, it's baseball. You know, there's ups and downs. Um, we have a really mature team here that, that understands that. Um, and, you know, we know that we have to play better, but we also know that we can't panic and, you know, try and force things to happen. So, um, you know, we've got a lot of talent on this team, and uh, things things will come around. But uh, in baseball, it's funny. It's an up-and-down game, and you got to be able to ride the wave for 162 games. It's also sometimes you just run into a team that's hot. Right? Yeah. That Brewer team was a buzzsaw yeah. in those three games. Yeah. Just like what you guys were against Philadelphia. Exactly, like exactly. They were they were clicking on all cylinders, pitching, hitting, and running. And, um, and so, you know, when you run into teams like that, and uh, unless you're hot as well, you know, it's tough to beat them. Also, you know, it seems like progressively a bunch of guys are in slumps. Is that contagious? On both ends. If yeah. one guy gets hot, like you guys yeah. Hit, if one guy gets hot hitting wise, then you definitely run into you know other guys getting hot and getting comfortable. Um, and then if, if a few guys are slumping, you know you definitely you definitely fall more pressure on one guy. And so um, you know every at bat means more. And if you don't come through there, then you know uh, that could be the difference in the game. And so uh, it definitely is contagious both ways. And you know uh, we we know that it's like I said, it's a mature team, and so. Um, everybody knows to just keep showing up each day, uh, do what you can do, give it your all, and if you do that, then it's going to turn out uh, well for you over the long run. Lastly, I know we've spoken to some trainers, we talked about pitch clock, we talked about box. It's interesting because you're a guy that grinds out at bats. Yeah. And you're still doing that. Yeah. But when you leave off a game, sometimes those at bats seem to take a lot longer, even though you're still grinding them out. Right. So a lot quicker. Yeah. Is there a difference? Well, not from the player standpoint, but I think from the fan standpoint. From the player standpoint, um, we're doing pretty much the same amount uh, of running or, or, or giving you know energy and the pitchers the the pitch you know with the pitches that they're throwing. Um, they're expending the same amount of energy, but just doing it in less time. And so honestly, you know that usually plays to getting tired uh, more 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 quickly and, and early. Um, and so. From the fans' perspective, it does, which is good. But from our perspective, you know, it's still the same amount of pitches, it's still the same amount of energy, it's just a shorter amount of time.